Hey y'all, welcome back to Anxious Brain Central. I am sitting in the parking lot of a store because I don't have any of my equipment because I am on Thanksgiving break. Thank the Lord Jesus. I was supposed to go home early or back to school earlier. What the fuck is on my steering wheel? Sorry. Like I said, in the truck. Um, I was supposed to go home earlier, but some things happened, so I'm here until the weekend, which is fine. I don't want to go back to school. Um, I have not done a single bit of homework since I've been on break. I, my brain is mentally fried. I can't do it. So when I get back to school, I'm going to have two papers due, a test, bio homework, and it's just going to be a fucking amazing time. Um, but yeah, I just fucking, I can't believe I saw this, but I'm sitting, like I said, sitting in the parking lot. I'm facing the road and the road in front of me, people go like 60 miles per hour. And I heard a dog barking and I was like, oh, it's just somebody like walking their dog. No, somebody fully had their fucking dog in the bed of their truck, just there, not strapped to anything, going 60 miles an hour. I just, I can't. Like, I can't. It's different if you're going down, like, a country-ass road and going, like, 20. But 60 miles an hour having your dog back there. And I could hear the dog all the way over here. Like, that's unsafe as fuck. But nobody cares about that shit. I almost got hit by a mattress before. Um, I was driving up to school, actually. And there was a car in front of me. And then there was a truck in front of that. And the truck had a fucking whole-ass mattress. Not strapped down. Because, like, why would you want to do that? And... Of course, the mattress flies out. Luckily, the car in front of me swerved out of the way, and I swerved the other way, and we missed it. But I could have gotten impaled by a fucking mattress. Like, you never know. That's why I hate getting behind trucks that are carrying shit, because I'm like, something's going to come out and fucking kill me. Not to mention, like, tractor trailers and shit, or not tractor trailers, dump trucks. Throw rocks at you, and it's like, mm, I did not need that. Um... And I've gotten my windshield hit multiple times with shit. And it's just, yeah, scary shit, you know? So my plan today is just to talk about the cult of elementary school. Um, Do you guys listen to Sounds Like a Cult? That's what I feel like right now. I love that fucking podcast. And they did a episode, I think similar, where they were talking about like PTA moms and shit. And that's a whole nother thing. But I wanted to just talk about fucking elementary school in general. So, where I went to elementary school was in a small-ass town. Um, Everybody knew everybody, you know. Excuse the fucking motorcycles. Okay. So, in a small-ass town. um, Yeah. So, there's a dog. God, people are so fucking dumb. Oh, I can't. Anyway. So, yeah. So, I went to middle school. Um, I went to, or not middle school. I went, I went to two different elementary schools. What am I talking about? So, I went to one in the same state, but in a different town. And then we moved. But the first elementary school I went to, the fucking, it was weird. So, like, there weren't actual classrooms. Like, you know, like, cubicles in an office? That's what, like, partitioned off the classrooms. And... You could hear everything. You could see everything. Um, one fond memory I have is you remember like specials and you'd have like music class, ew, and then you have like art and PE and um, wasn't there another one? Art, PE, music. Sure. I don't know. Yeah, those. So we, I love art. I've always loved art. And we were going to art class and we are making pottery and... Or not pottery. We're making, like, clay stuff. And I made, like, a dog. We were supposed to make an animal. And I painted the dog blue and orange, as one does. I was fucking, like, in first grade. Like, I don't know what a dog... Well, I know what a dog looks like. But I wanted to be creative. And the teacher's like, well, that's not what a dog looks like. And she gave me an F, essentially. And my mom was like, don't listen to that dumb bitch. Like, you can make whatever you want. It's art class. Like, why the fuck are you yelling at a first grader, stupid bitch? Anyway, that's, like, one fond memory I have of that school. I don't really remember that school that much. Like I said, I was only there for first grade and, like, part of second grade, and then we moved. And then I moved to the new school. We had, I had a teacher. Her name was Miss Davis. She was amazing for second grade. And then she... I think had a baby or something in the middle of the year and just left and we got stuck with this bitchy ass substitute. I'm not gonna say her name because like I said, small town, everybody knows everybody. Um, she was a dumb bitch. She used to yell at us for everything. I was a bad, I was not a bad kid. I just talked a shit ton in elementary school up until like third grade and then I went like mute. I don't know what got into me, 
But I would constantly be yelled at for talking and have to move my name and fucking... Do you guys remember that shit? Like, it was like a little stop sign or whatever. And the next one's like, warning, and then call home, and then whatever. And I would I would always get moved my name for talking, and I would get recess taken away. And um, I would also get stuck at in um, study hall, which was during recess, which is bullshit. Because I sucked at math, and I never finished homework so my teacher would give me extra work to do during study hall and it was torture actually and I remember this one time it we had a huge snowstorm like bad and they went outside for recess because it wasn't snowing yet and then it started like snowing so hard so they were only out for like 10 minutes and then they came inside and I was so jealous I was like what the fuck I wanted to play in the snow but no you gave me math homework to do Hmm. but I love my third grade teacher besides that she was amazing um, she loved, like, old music and dogs, and we always play games, and, like, she loves bring toys in, and she was just, like, a really fun teacher, um, and then I also had a music teacher, I hate music, I hate singing, I mean, I love music, but I hated music class, like, they made us sing stupid songs and shit, play the fucking recorder once, and then, you know, hot cross buns, but I had a teacher in elementary school, I think it was kindergarten, his name is Mr. Kate, and he was so funny. He was the best, one of the best teachers I have ever had. Like, he just made learning music so fun for somebody that fucking hates music. Like, he taught us about the Beatles, and, like, we learned, like, Yellow Submarine, and he was, I loved him so much. But yeah, that was that. So, when I moved to this new school, that teacher was great. Um, after that third grade year, I went fucking mute. I don't know what was into me, but I was, like, not talking to anybody. I had, like, two friends, and that was the fuck it. The one thing I do miss about elementary school was the parties that they don't have anymore because of, you know, recent events. And I'm not going to get political up in this podcast because it's not what I am. We'd have like a Christmas party and a Halloween party. And the Valentine's Day one was always my favorite. We would pass out little Valentines. And I remember one year this guy got me a necklace. And I was like, oh my, I didn't think anything of it because we were like best friends. So I was like, oh, he's just giving me like a necklace. And I think I still, I don't know, I don't have it anymore. But I had it for a while. It was just like a little, I think it was like a heart or something. But yeah, we'd get candy and we'd watch movies and we'd have like PJ day. Oh my god, I have like a fond memory of my mom dressing me up for pajama day on the wrong day. And it was so embarrassing. I was like, mom. And we'd have like, oh, field day was so fun. We would get like, if you guys know what Rita's, Italian ice is, would cater. And we'd get little cups of Rita's and we'd run and stuff. And you know, and it'd be the end of the school year. The summer for me though was probably really the best time for me and it blows my mind now because if I had a whole summer off of not working not going to school I'd lose my mind but I used to I had a friend that had a pool we'd go swimming we'd go walk on the beach we would I would just go to work with my mom essentially and she cleaned houses so like I just go to people's houses and hang out with their animals which is like fine with me and my dad would work and yeah because I wasn't really old enough to stay home like I would lose my shit I almost had that this summer though because of my living situation I had to commute to work and since it was so far I only worked a couple days a week and then I had the whole week to do nothing and it was torture but I also remember the fucking award ceremonies and those used to piss me off because I I'm smart but I'm just not good at school like I'm good at English class and like art and like photography and that's it but they didn't have photography and stuff but I remember one time I was going when I was moving over the summer I was going through my stuff and I had a math award and I was like how did I get this because I always was bad at math I was in like special classes I would get pulled out of class to go do extra math and like that's how bad it was but they gave me a math award and I was like Hmm. interesting yeah and you'd sit there and there'd be the people that get perfect attendance I'm like how the fuck do you go to school every single day like do you not get sick do you not have a doctor's appointment like I I miss school quite a bit just because I have like chronic asthma and I'd get sick a lot and I still have that fucking problem so I would always miss some school and then I got pneumonia one year and I was out of school for a week and do you remember in elementary school when you, they'd, like, call the school and you'd get, like, a packet to do while you were sick? And I was so dumb. I'm like, I'm sick. How am I going to sit here and do fucking English? Like, what the hell? At least with college, like, you can go online and look at what you have. But we didn't have that then. And also what's interesting is, like, with COVID and, like, the whole Zoom shit, kids don't have snow days anymore. Like, you literally just go online and do school. And we had the whole day off to go play in the snow. I'd play my Wii. Like, 
they don't have that and that's just <laughs> missing out we would, oh my god you guys remember secret santa like we would have i don't know it was like a company i guess come and set up like a little secret santa shop and it was like during school and your parents would give you money to essentially buy gifts for themselves it was super fun they would also have it after school too i think and i would always get like little stuff for my dad and my mom and my aunt and my grandma and like i said we didn't have a lot of money and that stuff wasn't that expensive but i would only get stuff for like my mom my dad my grandma and then like maybe like my one of my aunts i don't know super fun i would play like christmas music and shit and then there's also the talent show which was iconic iconic i'm talking really fast i'm really excited about this the talent show i never was in it but i helped backstage one year and it was super fun like i would do the curtains and we control the music you know different stuff and it was super fun i really loved it but that was always fun because we would get to watch it during school assemblies were the shit like we would have an assembly for the talent show then you could come after like school hours and they would, they would do it again there's also um a what is it assembly i remember is like a laser light show they have every year where they would do like different songs from movies like shrek and there'd be like lasers on a screen it was so cool like we don't have that shit anymore i don't think and they'd have like magic shows and do you guys remember oh my god wait wait do you guys remember jump rope for heart holy shit that was the shit that's when we would have they would set up in the gym a whole like mock model of a heart where you'd get on those little scooters that you guys you see on instagram and stuff like the ones you put your butt on and like scoot around and it'd be a little obstacle course and we'd go through the heart and then we'd have like the big um parachute thing you'd run under and we would do jump roping obviously and then you'd like raise money and get prizes i never did that shit the fundraising shit was ridiculous i remember one year i my mom and i never really did it like the yankee candle shit because we're again i grew up poor so we did it one year mom was like whatever like we'll get some stuff from yankee candle because she like candles and we raised a certain amount of money you're supposed to get a prize did we get a prize no they bought a whole ass ice machine for the fucking teachers like did you raise the money no bitch we did why didn't we get a fucking prize but anyway they would have prizes like tvs and like ipods and shit and you'd have to raise like a shit ton of money like you might as well go fucking buy it yourself like that shit was ridiculous it's like the chocolate bars and all of that and i was such an active little child i don't know what happened i'm fat and lazy like over this break i have slept in every single day i have done nothing for most of the days but everybody's like oh it's your break like you need to chill and i'm like yeah it's gonna be a rude fucking awakening when i go back to school and i have to get up at 8 a.m and fucking go to work and go to class but it's fine I haven't slept in like that in years, uh, years, because normally over break I'm working, but not this time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Jump Rope for Heart was the shit. The book fair, we all know, was the shit. My mom was like, you can't just go in there and get, like, toys. You have to get a book, and I'd get a book, and I wouldn't read it. I loved reading when I was little, more like my mom loved reading to me. Then when I had to read myself and got forced to read, like, To Kill a Mockingbird and shit and, like, middle school and high school i started hating reading because i'm like you're forcing me to read something i don't want to read and i've tried to read i read um the housemaid over the summer it took me the entire summer to read one book yes yes it did got the sequel didn't read it i just my adhd is fucking garbage the coldest thing i think about it is when you had to like walk in the hallway in a straight line and then some teachers would make you like put your um pointer finger up to your mouth like you're going shh and you'd have to walk and yeah and if you were bad i had a fifth grade teacher that would make you hold her hand to embarrass you and yeah i still remember one year it was like fourth grade we were coming in from recess and i like i said i went mute like after second grade so i'm quiet like we came in from recess i sat down at my desk and like got ready for math or whatever and everybody came in and was like screaming yelling my teacher's like trying to get them to shut the fuck up and then she was like okay you know what all of you guys no recess for you except for kyla and i was i was so embarrassed i was like what the fuck and like yeah the whole like the whole class had to move their name except for me <laughs> and i was like damn uh, i felt good about myself though. i was like i went home and i was like mom i didn't have to move my name everybody else did but yeah 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 and then i remember getting checked out for um like doctor's appointments my mom's never one of those people that's like okay we can go home after she's like no you're going back the fuck to school and he's be like but mom uh like we only have like four hours uh as i got in high school she stopped caring i think um she's like okay whatever 
whatever. But, like, if there's still a lot of school left, she's like, bitch, you're going to school. Like, we're not doing this. And I feel like now they're, like, people, parents are more lenient. Like, oh, mental health day or whatever. And, like, my mom is agrees with them now for me because I'm, like, older. I mean, shit, I get myself mental health days. I'm in college. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to class today. And I pay for my own college, essentially. So, like, they can't really say anything. And I've only missed, like, one or two classes. Like, nothing crazy because I just have had a lot of shit going on in my brain. What I did hate, though, I remember in second grade we would have snack time because we literally had fucking lunch at, like, 1030 in the morning. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not ready to eat lunch and like i never bought lunch they didn't have like reduced lunch until i was older and my family couldn't afford that shit so i would get my mom would pack me like a sandwich and she would cut the crust off because i'm weird i'm still like that i swear if this big asteroid car's next to me i'm gonna cry okay and i would have like apples and like a little debbie's cake or something and um everybody's like oh my god making fun of you making your own lunch but i'm like i don't want to eat that bullshit but yeah we would have snack time at like one or two o'clock just because we were still fucking hungry because we ate lunch at 10 30 and i'd always get apples because my mom wanted me to be healthy and i would always be jealous of the kids i would have like chips or like little debbies or like goldfish and i'm like what the fuck mom? i don't want my apples and she would like cut them up and cut the skins off because like i said i was a weird kid i swear i'm fucking like i just when i talk about these stories i just am like really proving my neurodivergent self because i still hate crust i don't like crust on pizza i don't like crust on sandwiches i don't like crust on um pop tarts and like i get i have to eat gluten-free now because i have celiac but like even with like gluten-free bread and shit and it's not like actual bread i'm like nope yeah I've been sitting in this parking lot for like 30 minutes, but honestly, this is kind of like therapeutic because it's therapeutic and I don't want to drive. But okay, guys, my mouth is dry and I'm over it. So I'll see you guys in the next pod. Sorry, there was no video again. I don't have any mic. I don't have my mic. I don't have my. I have my computer at the house, but like, I don't have my mic. I don't have like anything. So I was like, I want to record something. So I'm just going to sit in the car because why not? So you just don't see my beautiful face, which honestly you're not mis- missing much. I look like trash. I also have a giant scratch on my fucking forehead that everybody's like, oh my God, the cat scratches. They have some cats at the house. And I'm like, no, I did it myself because I was itching and I, it's too hard. So it looks like I got attacked, but I didn't. Okay, guys, in the next one, I hope you enjoyed. Again, I have a TikTok called All Time Kyla where I just post random shit. Then I have a TikTok where I post Anxious Brain Central. It's Anxious B Central. And then I haven't decided what I'm going to do with Instagram if I'm going to make one or like what I'm, the fuck I'm going to do. Right now, we're just on TikTok and YouTube and Spotify and we'll see what happens. But yeah, good night. Have a good day. Peace out.